couple of years ago, you know, we realized that the PC giants, you know, they, they weren't innovating anymore. They kind of stopped. When it comes down to innovation for the PC, we want to be the ones pushing the envelope. So everything from the desktop, now we haven't moved to the desktop yet, I'm not saying I'm going to do a desktop, but um, everything from the desktop to the, to the laptop, you know, to the um, tablet, for example. Then they said, look, you know, people just want cheap stuff that nobody wants innovation. They just want it inexpensive, they don't care if it's slick and stuff like that. We want to innovate, you know, we don't want to just go to a Taiwanese factory uh, or Chinese factory and, and slap a logo on that. Everything in here is a custom part. For me to even do a different color USB port, they said, no, you've got to make a million, million of these, otherwise we're not going to do anything about it. This is the power supply for the, for the blade. The rest of the stuff out there today are like three times the size and three times the weight. We brought in a whole team, um, XHP, X Apple, and when we couldn't get a, a, a factory to do what we wanted, the, the aluminum, the materials, we went out and bought an ODM in Taiwan. The same guys that did you know, concept stuff for uh, Intel or Microsoft Origami and stuff like that, they're not all with us. We iterate over and over and over again, which is, well, it looks like we've had like three badass products from the system's perspective in a year, which sounds a little crazy, but that's because out of three products, we've probably had maybe 10 different products that we've never shown that have gone all the way to completion. We've had products that get pulled like uh, two days before launch, but we know about it. In fact, uh, it's painful for the engineers, it's painful for the designers. I've seen guys cry and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it's about perfection. Is that K-pop? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs>